So some of you probably saw the sponsored social posts, or better yet, tuned into the awesome Periscope stream from the Prius Prime announcement at the New York International Auto Show, where I ran around opening up hoods and honking horns and stealing the touch-up paint from the prototype Prime. You guys know how I do. Which really raises an interesting question. Why did Toyota want to partner with me again? Well, thanks guys. And we're even doing it better this time. Not only do I have my very own fully functional Prius Prime to unbox one of the first off the production line, but while in the interest of protecting trade secrets, they couldn't tell me absolutely everything, I've also got a handful of interesting answers to my questions about what really went into this fascinating marriage of technology and automotive engineering. Hey guys, where the hell oh, is Linus? Sorry, am I up now? Has anyone seen Linus? Oh. So, uh, oh, let's go have a look, shall we? So it starts on the outside. This is what car people do, right? They admire the 15 inch lit uh, aerodynamic covers over your dope 15 inch alloy rims. This isn't so hard. You got your aggressively angled headlights, lines, stuff. And this is really cool. There's like a, a robot man face styling to the back that what, you guys don't see it? Here, look, you got your, your sunglasses right there. You got your like mustache and like a nose. Okay, well, we can agree to disagree, that's fine. But what pretty much everyone does agree on is that Prius Prime features noticeably sportier styling than previous Priuses. Why? I mean, in the past, Toyota was perfectly content to build Priuses that look like, well, Priuses. So it turns out the answer has to do with drag. Using a combination of simulations run on their own supercomputers. Did you know Toyota has supercomputers? I sure didn't, but apparently they kick ass. No! Because only a single prototype needed to be built to test the airflow separation suppression characteristics of the upper body and the airflow rectifying effects of the enlarged underfloor covers in a wind tunnel to achieve Prime's 0.25 drag coefficient, only marginally higher than a 787 airliner. And there are lots of other things that might seem like premium or sporty or in enthusiast design choices that really come right back down to efficiency. Uh, slick AF front grill design. Nope, right there. Flap to control engine cooling and air resistance. LED lights. These are for cool factor, right? Wrong. LEDs are smaller, lighter, and more power efficient than traditional lights. Toyota Safety Sense P features, like their pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, lane departure alert with steering assist, full speed range dynamic radar cruise control, safety. Okay, yes, yeah, safety, but also efficiency. I mean, a car that doesn't go anymore, it's not efficient, right? Carbon fiber reinforced polymer trunk. Track day, right? Wrong weight reduction and redistribution. Efficiency. Let's get inside, shall we? No one's gonna move the car while I'm in here, right? Okay, good. So this is the point then where I think I'm supposed to mention the best in class 19.8 cubic feet of cargo capacity. I mean, I'm Canadian, I'm, what's a cubic foot anyway? Besides, <laughs> I'm more interested in the how. So they upgraded the battery from 56 cells to 95 cells over the last gen. And to make room for it, they moved it down and forward. This has the obvious benefit of getting the weight closer to the center of the vehicle. And then they actually adjusted the suspension in the rear as well, making it more vertical. Let's move on in, shall we? 60-40 split. Ninja mode. You know, it's always funny to me when we do projects like this because there's like a committee on whether my clothes are gonna clash with the interior styling of the car. Like that's the concern. But I didn't get awkward, right? Okay, so let's take a look around here. Most of this is at least somewhat familiar. We've got the Qi wireless charging. We've got the color heads up display, JBL green edge speakers, proximity sensors, parking assist, uh, backup camera, 
So it's an 11.6 inch, 1920 by 1080 full HD display running an undisclosed operating system that handles all of the things that you would traditionally do through the potato. Oh shoot, can we do that again? All the functionality that you would normally get through the console. Nailed it. It's also running an undisclosed processor, but I can speculate that it's doing a heck of a lot more than just smoothing out the animations on screen, because there is a lot going on in here. Scheduled charging, the ability to use EV mode, normal hybrid mode, or a third mode that dynamically switches between them, and their predictive efficient drive, which sounds painfully marketing speaky, but actually does pretty much what it sounds like. The car will learn up to a thousand stops and will coach you on when to release the accelerator so the regenerative braking can kick in earlier and work its magic. Even the climate control system was custom tailored for Prime. In cold weather, down to minus 10 degrees Celsius, which involved this fancy battery heating element in order to keep things working properly. So that means it's a cold day, you hop in, you can run in EV mode immediately, and furthermore, thanks to the heat pump based HVAC system, your range in cold conditions is gonna be improved over systems that power the heating element off of the battery directly. So it's that combined with everything else we've looked at today that allows Prime to achieve its EPA estimated 133 MPGE, your mileage may vary, Full of disclaimers, tax is not included, batteries not included, other charges may apply. Well, okay, no, batteries are included, so I don't wanna, I don't wanna get in any trouble saying things that aren't true, which I guess leads us pretty much to the end of this. Thanks to Toyota for bringing us down here. Thanks to you guys for watching. If you wanna learn more about Prius Prime, you can check out the link that we've got in the video description. That's toyota.com slash Prius Prime. And I think that pretty much wraps it up. Like this video, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, make sure that you like the video. I think I said that. See you guys next time.